I'm Maddie Gettings. I'm a senior at Summerlin Military Academy. I've been in reading since my sophomore year. I finally completed reading, well, past my ACT uh, this semester, like my first semester. Okay, so you are now out of intensive reading, yes, is that correct? Awesome, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me a little bit about what went on in the reading class to help you get prepared for your tests. Um, we took a lot of like um, grammar courses, like we did a lot of grammar tests. Yeah, my biggest part was grammar that I needed to work on. Like reading wasn't my hardest like thing. Grammar was mostly my like the thing that I needed the most help on. Because when I took my AC, my SAT, like before, like during the summer of last year, grammar is what I scored the lowest on. Yeah, you were able to identify what you needed to address to do better yes, on your test. So I bet that helped you get ready for college also. Yes, ma'am. That's amazing. Well, I know the reading teachers are really good. Um, which reading teachers did you have? I had Miss Scott uh, my junior year, and then I had Miss Wing my senior year. Awesome. Well, they're both really good, and they both speak really highly of you. And I would like for you just to give some words of encouragement to our current juniors and seniors who haven't passed the reading because uh, you're in a sort of a unique situation. You are currently um, the second highest uh, GPA at Summerlin Academy. You make all A's. You're an amazing student. You take hard classes such as AP, and yet you still hadn't passed the reading. And I know that must have been frustrating for you, but um, can you just share like what kept you going? How did you how did you not get frustrated not having passed that test? Well, the easiest thing is is not to stress because once you start stressing, like your nerves get like so heightened and you can't go into the test thinking, oh, I need to pass it. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do that because it's not you're not going to focus on your test. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to sit there and stress. What finally clicked for you? What made what do you think it was that helped you finally pass that test? Um, so. We had a talk with Ms. Brister when we were doing my senior council, and uh, she was like, you just need to go ahead and do all the ones that you know. Do all, go through and do all the ones that you know. So that's what I did, and I actually got the highest I've ever scored on the So SAT. it was your test strategy. Yeah, I got a new test strategy, and I passed. So. so do you think that sometimes it's not really how well someone reads, it's how well someone tests? Yes. Yes, so do I. And so so what you the strategy that you used was going through and answering all the ones that you knew and then going back and taking more time on the ones that were harder. Is that correct? Yes. But I think like a different test strategy is different for each person though. That's true. Very good. And you brought out a good point earlier as you identified what you were scoring weak on. So that's where that test prep can really make a difference. Do you have anything else you want to tell um, juniors or seniors who may be where you were a semester ago? I know that like time management isn't like the easiest part like oh I need to study oh I need to do this paperwork oh I have a sport like I've been there I know how that is but take like the bit of time to study and like know your test strategy because that is everything that could change your 19 or that could change your 16 to a 19 that could change your 19 to a 21. Awesome. You know, I wish you were going to be a reading teacher when you grow up, but I know that, that you're probably going to be in the medical field. But I do appreciate you so much for sharing this, and I hope, I'm, I'm sure, that it's going to help um, other students. So thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, of course.